Hello, this is video 104, Viewing Data, part one. What we're going to do in this video is show you the different ways of uh, having closer looks at your data, zooming in, panning around, moving around. So let's start by just looking at our top layer here for a moment. From a, another video, you know that if I click over here, that it shows me the draws and the flashes in a different color. Now, what if I want to have a closer look? as to how are these things actually build up. You could go in here and use your mouse key, your, your scroll wheel, and zoom in, zoom out, pull back or push forward. And it will bring the, uh, it will zoom in on the location where your, where your mouse is pointing. Now you see that that's not very accurate. You can also do in and out, with meaning the key I and O, which corresponds with the buttons plus and minus over here. But a way more accurate view, uh, way of looking at things would be to zoom in specifically where we wanna go. So let's first return to the total view. The total view can be done via the icon that shows the one or with the keyboard shortcut T for total. So how does the zoom window work? Well, actually, if you click on this icon, you can simply click and drag a window on the screen. Do you see that as the yellow window over there? You pull it, when you let go, it brings that section up to the total view, into uh, the big view. So I know that this is, these are traces, but how are they built up? For that, we can use the draw mode. The draw mode if, is actually a toggle that, between, that switches between three different modes. If I click once, it goes to the skeleton view. In the skeleton view, it will show me the hard lines and the, the features. So I can clearly see that this over here is built up with square apertures that have been drawn uh, left and right. There's a second view, which is the outline view, which doesn't show me the hard lines. It shows me the outlines of the features. So you see the outline of the pad, the outline of the trace, the outline of the different pads over here. And if you click one more time, it brings you back to the regular view. Now, while you're zoomed in, you can also use your arrow keys to move left, right, up, down. Like let's say that you zoomed in, but you actually need to be a little bit in a different view. You can do that. There's also the way to pan. Uh, what that means is that you are in a particular view, but you want to see this thing over here. Using the arrow keys, you may have to go twice. What you can do is you can go to the view menu, click on pan, and you basically drag this feature at, to the point where the end of my line is at this point. So if I let go, this brought this to the center of my screen. So it really is moving as far as I drag that line. So if I wanna have that all the way over here, it goes like that. If I wanna have it in the center, it goes like that. So panning can also be done by pointing at a feature like this and hit the P key. That will bring it whatever feature you're, that you're pointing at that is underneath your arrow, your cursor arrow, it brings it to the center of the screen. So one more time, I wanna have this one show up in the center of the screen. I just move my mouse roughly over it and say P for pan. So zoom in, zoom out, total view. We also have a history. We store the last four views. Let's say that I go in here and then I accidentally uh, drag my mouse like this with the, the scroll wheel. But I wanna go back rather than zoom in again, I can click the H key once and twice. And there I am, I'm back to the view where I was at. So it cycles through the total view and your last four views that you are at it's called the history. You access it via the H key or 
if you have this have it on your toolbars you can also click on this icon which does the same So that concludes video 104. Thank you.